good morning good morning this is a beautiful morning yes we are live in ecom one of the cities in cross river states yes calabar we did a, i did a quick stop at ecom uh, from our previous video you know i told you my wife is in lagos also making beautiful content for you guys but i'm in cross river state and i just decided to breeze into ecom let's see what ecom uh, it's all about what the com looks like. We're going to do a drive through around Ecom and we're going to take it up to the borderlines towards Cameroon. So, guys, stay tuned to the end of this video. So, if you're a returning subscriber watching this, thank you very much. And if you are seeing this and you're yet to subscribe, please do well to click the subscribe button. So, let's drive around Ecom and let's also go towards the borderline between Nigeria and Cameroon. So, guys, we are at Ecom, like I've said. For basically, yeah, Ecom is quite a busy town. Yeah, it's quite busy, and uh, I think there are just two or three major routes in and out of Ecom that I've noticed. Uh, one of it is uh, the Ugeb Calabar Road, uh, the Ecom uh, Ogoja Road, and the uh, Border Road. Yeah, I think these are the three major roads in Ecom and I think visiting Ecom for the first time just like me I don't think you can actually lose because these roads are in fact are just in one direction so Ecom, Ecom uh, Ogoja Road and uh, Ecom Ugev Calabar Road is just uh, a straight road it's just a direction to your right that is the Ecom uh, Border Road so we are going to get into Ecom Border Road shortly we have been hit by traffic lights so let's obey traffic and uh, let's get into the econ border road let's see what it is like i actually learned that uh, there is serious military presence and security presence around uh, the econ uh, border road to cameroon so well, let's just drive in a little and let's see how it is like if they allow us to get into the borderline to climb on the bridge separating Nigeria, we will be more than glad to climb on that bridge. And also, just to mention, I learned that they have uh, their refugee camp. It's actually located at the somewhere close to Ogoja. Yes, on your way to Ogoja, I think there's a the refugee camp is somewhere around there. So I'm going to do a quick drive to Ogoja as well, and let's see if we can visit. Uh, the refugee camp and if we can actually pay a visit to the rice mill that the governor talked about that he's building and that he's done already for the people of Abuja. So we're going to do a quick stop there. So for me, why let's enjoy the drive in uh, Ecom. This is Border Road that is being popularly called. It's being popularly called in Ecom. This is Border Road. So we are currently driving on Border Road. Let me see. I don't know how far it is. Someone told me about 30 minutes drive maximum so let's see if the security checks they have here and let's see if we can pass through to get on the bridge i'll be more than excited to do that if they will allow me get to the bridge so enjoy this drive with me and let's hope we get to the bridge okay yeah i've been enjoying my stay in ecom yeah i came in uh last night actually and i've been enjoying my stay i learned that the people are nice and i've not had any issue to think otherwise since i have been here and um, also i learned um, ecom is the home of pierre as far as uh, pierre and coco as far as uh, uh, cross river state is concerned that the major farming they do in ecom is uh, it called this um, cocoa farm and they also have some big big peers in uh, Ecom. Yeah I did a stop I did a stop and video some of I stopped by somewhere to video video the pier you can see it is run through uh, part of the clip very soon you see it run through very 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 soon it was so close to the ground that I can even use my hand to be blocking it so and they have a lot of things like that in various places within the, the community so it was quite very easy for me to spot as it is so that is it so this is the Calabar uh, this is the Ecom 
Cameroon Road, Border Road, as it's been popularly called. So if you have seen this video and you have used this road before or you have been to Cameroon through this route, please do want to signify in the comment section and do let us know your experience. Yeah, I really wish I can get your experience before I embark on this journey. It would have been very great. But nevertheless, still let us know your experience in the comment section. And you seeing this, do also let us know what you think in the comment section. Uh, for me, I think it's quite cool to know that you can actually just drive into Cameroon. If the protocols will not be so much at the border, it will be a very awesome experience. You should do it often just with a passport. You can cross it. Just have a glimpse of Cameroon and come back to your own country. But you know, you know the way things are in Africa. But nevertheless, let's keep driving and let's see for ourselves. Yeah, all of uh, I can also observe that they do a lot of uh, oil here as well. I've been seeing a lot of oil mules in different uh, locations. But even though I was told by some of the indigenous that this is not a major hub for oil. I can actually see a lot of oil processing me. I mean palm oil, when I mean oil, I mean palm oil processing meals around a lot of them. So those people that were sharing things on the vlog we saw, those are palm, palm kernels that you are seeing there. So I observed that they also do that a lot in Ecom very well. So but well, they said there's another community that is known for oil within uh, Cross River State. So what uh, they said is along the path going to going to Ogoja so probably if I'm passing by there I hope I have somebody like a tour guard that will let me know that this is the place they're talking about so we might just do a quick stop by there also to just see how it is and uh, how they are processing the oil the palm oil so for me why let's still continue our drive in the border road and just just to mention as well I also observed as I was driving around the cross river that Ecom seems to have a lot of rovers. I saw a lot of rubber plantation while I was driving down to Ecom and even within town now I can still see some rubber trees around. Oh I can see a lot of military points already ahead of already driving down the road. So let's keep going and let's see let's get this first traffic point uh, military point let's keep it going and uh, they don't ask us so many questions. Oh, it's even a police. Let's keep it going. Okay, they actually barricaded the road initially, uh, so they opened it up after they spoke with the first vehicle ahead of us. But what did they didn't want to cover it to ask us questions? And what I also observed coming here, there are a lot of uh, coming to Ecom from through Calabar Gap Road. I observed that there are some uh, military checkpoints and there are some immigration also along the paths. You know, I know I traveled to Ogoja a long time ago, some years back. I also observed that along the Calabar Ogoja Road. And most commercial vehicles will park. I think they will come down, bring their manifests, and show to. To the military personnel or police or uh, sometimes uh, custom officers and uh, i know my experience back then in two, two or three years back my experience going to Ogoja, i didn't drive i used the commercial vehicle and they were actually stopped and the manifest was given to the custom officer he came down asking that each and every one of us to identify ourselves and even mention the local government we are from and the village we are from in that local government probably they are trying to fish out people who has crossed over into Nigeria through the border. So probably that's what they're trying to do. So but that was what I observed. I observed that commercials still stop very well along the the oh that's Coco along the road coming in from Calabar where we are coming into Econ we still stop and present manifest. I observe commercials doing that but privates usually pass freely without much uh, interrogation. So this is another barricade we are seeing. These are for militaries. So let's gently pass. Let's keep going. I think from the look of things, I think we'll soon be leaving town proper. Oh look at Coco. We'll soon be leaving town. 
So, so guys, thank you very much for your love and support for our channel. We are doing all of this because you guys have shown us serious love in the channel. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. We do appreciate. And if you are seeing this and it's your first time visiting us in our channel, please do well to click the subscribe button. Yeah, this is another military point. What explanation am I going to give to them? Okay, I actually pulled over to answer some questions. Where am I going? I just told them I love adventure. I visited the com. Just wanted to get a bit closer to the border and just take a look at it. So that is why I am here. So let me, these are custom officers. Let me see them. Let me also let me also answer some questions along here. So guys, I will have to cut the video for now. Okay guys, we have passed the custom officers now. This police point as well. I, I think I can count uh, so many points already that we've crossed with so many police uh, police presence and the road is becoming more lonely as we go. So I really want to step on that bridge. Yes, I really want to step on that bridge sincerely. I really want to. So let's just uh, hope and pray that they grant me access as I keep introducing myself to them. So I know coming back, that's when the interrogation will be much because coming back they feel okay maybe you have entered from the border already and uh, you are you are trying to gain access into ecom as it is oh still another still another another point so guys i think i will have to answer questions again okay how much talk observed my car, observed everything on the door, but uh, the weather is seriously changing, it's about to rain, the cloud is seriously gathering. Yeah, so guys, I had to make a U-turn at this point. Yeah, the custom officers I just met, beyond the fact that the cloud is seriously gathering, they said I can't pass because there's usually nails on the ground. They have to roll it off. They said I can't pass because I'm not with my passport and I don't intend to travel. I can't go. I try to beg them to at least let me just step on the bridge, but they refuse. So I had to make a U-turn. So guys, let's hope that uh, subsequently when I plan to visit, I will be able to step on the bridge. For those of you who have stayed with me, I do appreciate your sincere uh, love for the channel. And I'm really, really sorry that I could not step on that bridge and show you a glimpse of what it looks like. I'm really, really sorry about that. Not my fault, the Nigerian system. So that is it, guys. If you have stayed with me, thank you very much. And uh, if you are yet to subscribe, please do well click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you'll be part of our big family we'll be more than glad more than excited to have you join us so guys let me go back to ecom it's like 30 minutes drive i just did that i summarized into about 8 to 10 minutes video it's about 30 minutes drive from ecom main town for those who are familiar with ecom that is from that diversion we made coming from calabar it's about 30 minutes drive to the borderline so thank you very much i'll catch you guys in our next video and anticipate my video to ogoja catch you guys guys bye